Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Rick Command, and today we're reviewing the Retro Tank 2X by Mike Chi. Is it the S-Video solution that you've been waiting for for your HDTV for years? Watch the review and find out. As a 90s kid, there weren't many choices for great video quality out of our old consoles. For most, S-Video was king and it looked great for its time. Unfortunately, if you bought a high definition television over the last few years, S-Video and even component video connections have all but disappeared as consumer options. <laughs> Enter the Retro Tink 2X by Mike Chi. It's described as an ultra low latency line doubler that converts composite as video and component video sources as well as their audio over to HDMI. And it's doing this in a consumer friendly price point of $100. Do make a note that this is without a mini HDMI cable or a micro USB power supply. What separates it from other cheap video skaters is that the RetroTINK 2X can pass through or upscale 240p and 480i sources to 480p with less than five lines of lag. This is the 240p test suite and as you can see, the drop shadow test transparency displays correctly under the lens of truth. Now let's test for lag. I'm recording at 240 frames per second on the Google Pixel 2 XL. On the left is my CRT connected directly to my SNES. On the right is my HDTV set to game mode. Notice that on the freeze frames, there's a slight variance. When switching to the 200p test suite on the Genesis, you'll see that after 14 minutes, it's only about three frames behind. Remember that all HDTVs have different levels of lag, but the RetroTank 2X does an excellent job in my opinion. In addition to upscaling, there is also a smoothing filter that can be activated with the press of a button. Here it is applied to Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the original PlayStation. I would have preferred a scanline option instead since that would fit in better with the original look. This is all personal preference though, some people may prefer the smooth look, I am not one of them. The smoothing filter does not work with the 240p pass through. As you can see here with Streets of Rage 2 for the Sega Genesis, it is only applied when 480p is activated. Take note that this TV even correctly displays 240p in the info bar as well. Here's a side by side comparison, do you see a difference? The RetroTank 2X has no RGB SCART option. This means that you'll have to make do with component or S-Video cables for clean imagery. My recommendation is to use HD RetroVision's component cable. These are pricey and not always ready available, but they are a plug and play solution with excellent visual fidelity. S-Video cables can usually be found cheap online and for many people may offer a good enough picture to immerse themselves. Can you tell the difference in this comparison? One is S-Video and the other is component. The N64 natively tops out at S-Video. This is Diddy Kong Racing running and it looks pretty clean. Don't expect any anti-aliasing miracle fixes, but at least you'll be able to play your N64 on your television. You can also expect clean motion even with fast paced games like Sonic and Fighting Vipers. Unlike with other cheap scalers that add a strange bilinear effect in motion, with added lag, the Retro Tank 2X just produces a clean up scale free of any added motion blur. This just makes games more visually appealing, less laggy, and a lot more fun to play. This leads me to my final verdict. Is the Retro Tink 2X worth your hard-earned cash? Win. For around $100, you're getting a low lag solution that properly handles low resolution video. It may not quite upscale to HD, but the results are clean and highly compatible with most modern TVs and capture cards. If you already own or have S-Video and component cables for your retro consoles, then it's a no-brainer and a definite recommend. I understand that the lack of RGB SCART may be a disappointment to some, but you can always get a SCART to component transcoder and fix that problem. 
It may be an extra step in a chain of adapters, but for some of you, it may be the low cost solution that you were waiting for. This video is not sponsored or reviewed by anyone in any way. I purchased this RetroTank 2X with my own funds. I hope that you enjoyed this video and of course subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that bell and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Ray Command signing off. See you in the next video.